Firstly, before we get into this video, go and check out my second channel, Reddit Investigator. We're spilling the tea that's not celebrity tea. I cover a range of topics straight from trending Reddit threads, some super intense, super crazy stories, so be sure to go and subscribe. Eugenia has been a topic of discussion ever since she first started on the internet. Critics argue that her content encourages EDs among viewers, raising concerns about her influence on her young fans. Back in 2019, Eugenia returned to social media after a long break where she got in the help she needed and she was on the mend. People were really excited for her and happy for her and then came along Shane Dawson who made a documentary about her which people now believe was the start of her downfall or at the very least contributed negatively to her. There's a huge discussion on Reddit at the moment about how Shane helped cause Eugenia Cooney to end up where she is today and people are going off. Someone wrote, when he made that video with her pretty much immediately after she got out of treatment, mistake number one. He talked to that therapist lady to find out what kinds of things he shouldn't say or ask about. And then he said and asked about every one of those things. So he definitely didn't do her any favors. Another user said, let's also bring up the fact that the therapist he interviewed completely vilified the people who were the reason Eugenia was getting the help she needed to begin with, even though she was the one who told those same people to do what they did. Giving her a platform was an awful move. Other users wrote, he definitely expressed her for content, but I doubt it made that much of a difference. I have a feeling she'd be in the same situation today, regardless. Yeah, I agree. I hate Shane, but I know she would have found the internet again with or without him. Mostly, he accepted her for views when she was very vulnerable, but he didn't make her who she is today. She's done that on her own, and her family doesn't help. Now, we must note that Eugenia was already well known on YouTube before Shane Dawson took the opportunity to collaborate with her, hoping to be the first to announce her comeback. Although, he obviously can't be entirely to blame. However, Shane's decision to use her for views and pressure her to speak before she was truly prepared did not benefit her in any way. It's likely that she wasn't ready to return to the public eye so soon after her release, and although she received help and resources, she wasn't prepared to accept them. Many believe that even without Shane's video, she would have eventually relapsed, but being showcased on such a massive channel accelerated her relapse significantly. For someone struggling with an ED, any comment about their weight, positive or negative, can be triggering. Being under the scrutiny of millions of people analysing her appearance and weight exacerbated her situation, becoming all anyone saw when they look at her. Someone else on Reddit pointed out something else very interesting that said, she agreed to it though. He didn't just show up with a camera, and part of me thinks she agreed to it as a way to get back on YouTube without having to make a video herself talking about it, considering she wouldn't even admit she had an ED in Shane's video, because she looked super different so if she came back without Shane, her fans would have been hounding her, and people probably would have been calling her fat, and it would have been this giant deal. With Shane, she was able to come back and not elaborate at all herself. She let him do all the talking. She would have been in this situation regardless, just like in a you can't help someone who doesn't want the help. Her family doesn't care about her besides being a cash cow. Someone needs to force her into a treatment that is at least a year for her to have any chance at a life. Right now, she's on the path to The discussion about Shane Dawson's doco about Eugenia Cooney is complicated. Some say it was exploitative, while others don't blame him for her relapse. Recovering from an ED is often difficult and not a straightforward process. People can relapse, sometimes making the situation worse after trying to get better. Eugenia's case follows this pattern. Successful recovery usually relies on a strong support system, which Eugenia clearly does not have, as we've literally seen her mother on live stream saying that there's nothing wrong with Eugenia. Critics argue about Shane's involvement, some think Eugenia might not have been truly committed to recovery, there are claims that she was pressured by a lawyer and family members to talk about recovery on Shane's documentary, creating a false impression of progress. Even though Shane's video came out shortly after her one month inpatient treatment, which is seriously not that long at all after she was recovering, some say she wasn't genuinely on the path to recovery. Apparently, the 5150 law in California has been expanded, which could force her back into treatment. However, Eugenia reportedly moved out of California and is now living in Connecticut, a state with fewer and voluntary treatment options. Could she have moved because of these new laws? Her mother has been blamed for causing a significant role in her struggles, with many blaming their relationship for a big part of her challenges. If we look at the comments on Shane's documentary now, we can see how people realised just how out of touch Shane was for filming this. Watching this back in 2023, knowing she's worse than ever, is just so sad. I'm just in tears because she wasn't ready for this and Shane wasn't 
the right person to do this. And Katie was playing all sides. You should have left her sitting outside in the sun. Allow her to tell her story slowly, not force things out of her. You can see that she felt so exposed. He pushed her way too far in this video. Him showing the therapist telling him to not say these things to her and it cutting to him saying the exact shit she said not to say is wild. She was 100% not ready for this yet and I believe it majorly affected her recovery. Shane is probably one of the most disgusting human beings ever. You can really feel his god complex kick in for helping and being kind to the girl on the brink of death. Seeing Eugenia now and even then, you can just look in her eyes and see the pain, the trauma, the hurt, the shamefulness. It hurts my heart so bad for her, knowing that she deep down inside is a good person. She has so many people rooting for her. We've all watched her slow, slow 10 years and I wonder if this year is the year. Every single video she posts or live stream she does, she looks even worse. So yeah, many believe that Shane's video was her downfall and Shane completely ignored the therapist's advice because anytime Eugenia opened up and was vulnerable, his response was cold and he was straight on to the next question. Even though Shane Dawson's video might not have directly caused Eugenia's it was definitely in poor taste, especially because she'd only just gotten help the month prior. But yeah, it's important to note that her situation is much more complicated than just his involvement. Her personal struggles, lack of support and family dynamics all contribute to the ongoing difficulties she faces in her battle with her ED. In Eugenia's Draw My Life video that she'd posted many, many years ago that's since been deleted, probably because she doesn't want anyone seeing it, in the video she'd explained how in the first year of her life, she spent a lot of time in something she called the bucket, which was a car seat. Eugenia apparently hated sleeping in her crib. In response, her mother resorted to keeping her in a car seat so she wouldn't crawl around and explore. Many are comparing what she said in this video to confinement, and her referring to her car seat that she was trapped in as a bucket is actually Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome is where victims form an emotional bond with their captors, and so Eugenia grew a bond with her car seat. Many believe that she still may suffer from Stockholm Syndrome to this day by still living at her mother's home at the age of 29 and dressing and acting like a teenager still. It's really sad that Eugenia illustrated parts of the first year of her life and she remembers that because a lot of people can't remember that far back but she probably can because she was so traumatised by it. She also illustrated how she eventually learned how to escape the bucket by pushing the seatbelt button. And this was just a small snippet of the trauma Eugenia has faced by her family. In a re video, people have pointed out just how effed up her upbringing was and discussed other disturbing parts of her childhood that she'd mentioned. Someone wrote, she slept in a car seat that was called a bucket. She had a guidance counsellor wanting to be her father. She was obsessed with brat dolls and maybe she wanted to look like them to the point of her school being worried about her and her mother ignored the concern and bought her more. Her mother and her have always been very close, innocent enough until you notice the not in comment on the board, who in their right mind feels they have to specify that it's not incest. She's been through some shit, that's for sure. Also, I can't help but wonder if the mother manipulated her into staying thin so that she would make more money as a model. Had a friend go through this thing with her mother, so that's why I'm wondering. Another user wrote, she said it was so creepy when her guidance counsellor wanted to be a father to her. I think it was probably more like a father figure sort of situation because, as you notice, she doesn't really talk about her dad too much here, and she skips some larger chunks of her childhood and doesn't really discuss her home life or even why she hated school so much. I'm pretty sure she homeschooled most of high school. She was probably a lot and has a lot of trauma. We never see her dad on camera and she talks about her brother more than her father. All she said was he works in New York City a lot. Like she didn't say anything about like, so because he's gone all the time, we talk on the phone a lot or because he's never here, when I do see him, I value that time or I miss seeing him or it's hard with just my mom here, we miss my dad. She says nothing of that nature. It's weird and very interesting she does this. What are your thoughts on Eugenia Cooney at the moment? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.